The medical community calling on the Premier to declare opioid overdoses an emergency in Ontario. An open letter with support for more than 700 frontline workers and academics presented today at Queen's Park. The letter issuing a stark warning that healthcare workers do not have enough resources to respond to what they say is a growing crisis and they need more money fast. I think what we've been asking for is for the funding to go to frontline workers, for funding to go on the ground, for funding resources to go where people need them. Um, certainly I think that is for uh, harm reduction resources, that is um, we need to have testing that can happen so that before people use they can have access to uh, knowing what is in the substance they're going to use. Um, we need to have more funding so that uh, people can be compensated for the work that they're doing and so that is not relying on volunteers so that frontline harm reduction workers can actually be paid for the work that they're doing. The healthcare community also wants to see regulatory changes so that more supervised injection sites can open. The three that are set to open next month in the city are now considered to be the bare minimum. The Ministry of Health is expected to make a funding announcement later next week. Those in the healthcare community say they need the funds immediately.